Alright, so the gameplay you're going to be seeing here is um, Domination on Advanced Warfare. I'm going to be using a, it's like, a, I don't know, we'll, I'll get to what we're using here in a minute. We were talking about, today we're going to be talking about the things Advanced Warfare did wrong. Not necessarily did wrong, but the things it did that people didn't like. And then the things that Black Ops 2, 3 should do right. I'm not an expert on this. I'm just going on my opinion on what a good Call of Duty is. So I guess we'll just get started. Um, first of all, the boost system in Advanced Warfare, like it or not, it changed the game completely. And some people really hated it and some people really liked it. Personally, I enjoyed it for I enjoyed it for a while. I don't use a scuff or anything, so it was hard to like adapt. Once you adapt to it and get good, there's a huge skill gap. If you come from Black Ops 2 and straight on to Advanced Warfare, if you there you'll know the difference. Like if you you can tell a person that's been playing Advanced Warfare for a couple months to a person that just got on because just the movement and everything is different. Honestly, I liked it. A lot of people didn't like the movement mechanics, but personally, I really liked the movement mechanics. I don't know. Mechanics. Fine. I don't know if I really liked it, but I liked it. I mean, I enjoyed it for a while it lasted. Black Ops 3 is about to come out, and I'm so excited for that. I went back to Black Ops 2, honestly, because I'm a sniper, and... Uh, Back to Black Ops 2, but I decided to just get a gameplay just so I could talk about this. The gun I'm using in there is a Royalty Elite variant, and as you can see, it's just melting people. It literally destroys them. And well, the one thing Advanced Warfare did wrong right off the bat the 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 perk thing, where you can either the pick 14 was a good like idea where you could have no streaks and all, or you could have four streaks or whatever. But mostly people just ended up using so many perks, just stacking on the perks. And competitive, they don't use streaks. People just ended up stacking on perks. So, I mean, it was a good idea and it was alright. But pick 10 was definitely a better choice just for the fact that you couldn't just stack on any perk you wanted to constantly. Just have a shit ton of perks. I could literally have six perks if I wanted to while keeping two attachments on my primary ESL rifle. It's kind of crazy. Um, but another thing, honestly, like, it's, the variants in this game are so annoying. And I, I don't know, I play ranked play, and I don't think you should be allowed to use variants in ranked play, because they, when they took it, capture the flag out of competitive, they took it out of ranked play also, because it's supposed to be like a competitive game. But when they, well, they didn't, they never took variants out of ranked play, which is dumb, because when I play ranked play, I want the competitive experience, quote, but I, there's people that will use speakeasies and obsidian steeds and shit, and just camp in, like, the backs of the maps, and it's, like, literally so hard, if somebody's pushing you with a speakeasy, if you don't, I don't know, it's really hard, to, they'll destroy you 43% of the time, it's kind of insane how strong the speakeasy is, that used to be the only strong gun, and just the variants, like, most of the elite variants are really good. The Obsidian Steed, the Inferno, the Speakeasy, those are all really freaking good variants. And, I mean, if you don't have variants, you're at a disadvantage in those gunfights. Automatically. Doesn't matter about skill, you're automatically at a disadvantage during those gunfights. Just because of the stats and the craziness of those weapons, because they are really good. I don't care what you say, those weapons are really good. Like, I can beat them in some of the gunfights when I... Alright. When I was just played Advanced Warfare, ranked play, like, constantly grinding it out, I could actually, I could beat them if, like, 40% of the time. But if they were at my skill level and they had that gun, I would get really angry because they would just destroy me. And I have a lot of elite weapons. I have the Speakeasy, Obsidian Steed, I have the Inferno... I have all kinds of elite weapons, but when I'm playing ranked play, I don't use them because I find them unfair, honestly, and I don't, I don't want to be that guy. But they just, they're literally overpowered. And the fact that they decided after that they would put more overpowered weapons in after all the complaint. I mean, I guess people didn't really complain about variants, but that's one of my biggest complaints. I'm sure other people have the same opinion. Variants literally ruined this game in some parts for me because when I first started everybody had elite variants and I didn't have anything and I would just keep getting destroyed. This gun right here they just came out with it's a rolled it's um a STG it's like a submachine gun and I got the royalty version and it melts people so hard. It literally destroys them. 
so easy. It's insane. And then that secondary M1 Irons rolls he, well, is a two-shot kill at medium range. It's crazy. I don't know. In my opinion, they they should just get rid of the variants. I I don't. There's no clue that Black Ops Three is gonna do variants, and I honestly don't think they will. But I don't think it's a good idea if they thought that they should. I think they've learned from Advanced Warfare that they're overpowered, and I don't think they're gonna do it. Uh, the specialist thing in Advanced Warfare, I think it's actually a really good idea. All the stuff we can do with trick shotting, uh, you can get all the different weapons and stuff. Uh, glitch, I guess that's all right for like competitive. Competitive is gonna be pretty awesome. I can't wait for that. A, I like to watch competitive. I used to play competitive, kind of, sort of. But I like to watch it and stuff now. But, you know, Advanced Warfare, the mechanics were fun for a while, and they kind of got old pretty fast. It was like Ghost. It was fun for a while, but, I mean, once you... if I When I go back and play Ghost right now, it's I can't play it for more than, like, 30 minutes. It's just straight vectors everywhere. They buffed one gun, and it's stronger than every single gun, and that's all anybody uses. I and I don't know. Black Ops 3, I'm sure it's going to have the strong guns and stuff. Black Ops 2 had the FAL. It was so strong. They banned it from competitive, but people still use it in pubs for some reason. They find the need to use it. But I think Black Ops 3 is going to be a really good game. The snipers, which is what I really like. Um, the locust looks... Like, it's going to be a really... It's going to be basically a ballista. Which I'm really excited for. And then they have the Dracon. I don't know if they're going to put a DSR kind of gun in there. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, honestly. But if they nerf the Locust's fire rate like they did in Black Ops 2. Like, let's see if that's the, that's the DSR. And if they nerf it like they did the DSR, that's literally going to... Everybody will hate Vondi again. Um, when he nerfed the... When they nerfed the snipers literally everyone hated him I don't know why they hated him it wasn't just his choice but the pre-patch DSR was so good you don't realize how good it was like people use that over the ballista and now it's just basically ballista feeds because it's so hard to a good quad feed or anything past that with a DSR if you're not hitting collats or anything um, yeah so as long as there's really good maps uh, I don't know. I'm really excited for zombies too. The zombies on Advanced Warfare was kind of a fail. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was fun for the first two days, maybe. I only played like a couple of games. It was kind of a fail. I mean, I don't even know why they put it in there. To be honest, they should have just left it out. This, the Black Ops 2 Extinction was stupid. The Advanced Warfare zombies was stupid. Leave the zombies to Treyarch because they pretty much never let us down. The zombies. Is, I hope it's gonna be sick. I mean, I don't doubt it. I've already had the game pre-ordered. Um, this is the most pumped I've been for any Call of Duty, so if it lets me down, I'm going to be very disappointed, like, all around. Oh, God, I've been talking for eight minutes straight, and it's kind of impressive. I'm not even about to lie. But, you know, I mean, the variants, I don't want variants at all Black Ops 3. Um, the mechanics don't seem that overpowered. Like, if you're a sniper in Advanced Warfare, it was ac it's actually pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. Once you're good at it, you're good at it, but, like, the in-air fights with the snipers and stuff it's kind of hard like let's say i have my pummeler moors going against an obsidian steed or this gun the stg royalty and we're up in the air fighting who do you think is gonna win if i miss one shot i'm literally ruined like no matter what black ops 3 the beta in my opinion they took toughness out because it's a needed perk like if toughness is in there and you're not using it you're at a disadvantage so you're gonna put it on every time but if you get if you're a sniper like i am and i get shot one time I get sh let's say I get shot by, I don't know, the, the fucking, what is it called? Razorback. I get shot by the Razorback. My aim's shooting up, which might cause me to miss. And then the Dracon has a fast fire rate, but the Locust is like a decent fire rate. If I miss that shot and they have a Razorback and they have decent aim, they're going to hit me. And I think the, the time to kill is actually pretty fast. It reminds me of like a little, it's a little bit fast, a little bit slower than Ghost. The time to kill in Ghost was insane. It was just pretty much game knowledge, and Ghost is the way you played the game, is game knowledge, and knowing where the people were going to be in pre aim and corners and stuff like that. But I think Black Ops 3 is going to be really fun. I'm really pumped for it. Um, I'm going to be sniping. Uh, the clan's coming out with a team Taj. We're going to be grinding it out as soon as it comes out, and then after that, me and Ace are going to come out with a dual Taj. So, yeah, I'm sorry for not any montages or anything recently. It's just like I don't have clips or anything. I don't have just a bunch of clips I can show you guys. 
But if you did enjoy or agree on any of my opinions or have any opinions at all, please leave them in the comments below. Went 36 and 4, pretty good. It's been a while since I red gunned on Advanced Warfare. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.